Hi, I'm Zandi from SoIMakeStuff.com, and this is a demo of the Bind Off Row from the Hudson Valley MKL, as requested. Please excuse the dog. She won't let me sit on a chair with a blanket alone. So to start the row, we bind off three stitches. So that's one, two, three. And then we're going to do the pico. And to do the pico, we knit on two stitches. So to knit on a stitch, you're going to knit knit into the stitch, but without slipping it off the needle, the left needle. Then you're just going to place it, place what you've knit on on the left needle. Then you're going to do the same thing, knit into that stitch as you would a regular stitch, and then place it back on the left needle. And then we're going to bind off four. So one, two, three, four. And when you block it, you can't quite see it yet, but there is a pico there. So let's keep going with the knit, um, knit on two again. One, two, and then bind off four. One, two, three, four. Now you'll see the, the picots forming. Um, it's not a regular picot pattern. So the next step is to knit on two. Once again, one, two, and as I said, it's not regular. So this time we bind off six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see that pretty much centered in our pattern, we have some picots going on. They won't really show up until blocking. Um, and I'm not going to finish the row because it takes a while to, to do the bind off, but you get the, the idea. Um, I do recommend, I haven't sized up my needle, but I do recommend to get bigger picots. Size up to uh, 9 or 10, depending on your gauge, so that your bind off is loose enough that you can block it out. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed working on your mystery. Bye.